Well, welcome to this lecture on the way of things. Today, we're going to learn uh, the way of things from wildlife, in particular, desert bighorn sheep. Now, you can learn these kind of lessons from almost any animal, from the rabbits, sparrows, coyotes, and so forth. Uh, and it's worth learning and trying to look at wildlife in that way is, is teaching you how to behave. Uh, this lesson is going to have a lot to do with presence and awareness and we're going to watch some fairly magnificent animals. We're going to see a white ram, a uh, desert bighorn sheep, it's white, a very rare individual, and we're going to see a good mature ram as well, and then uh, a ewe with its lamb. And we're going to watch their actions and interreactions with both themselves and their environment and try to learn from this. light-colored ram. He's very aware that I'm here, but he's not too concerned about it, and he's just standing still. He thinks he's hiding, but he ain't doing a very good job. He's just the wrong color. This very light colored ram just decided to sit down and stay a while. Hopefully he'll be joined by others. I think this guy's coming to check me out. ram saw me, came in close to me, was maybe 20 yards away, maybe only 10, and then that wasn't enough for him. He actually circled around me and got within about 40, 50 yards and was just watching me from behind before I noticed him. I thought I'd run him off, but now it's looking like he might still come in for water. I don't see any other sheep here, but that's the uh, big ram on the right that got up close. Well, one of the first things we want to understand about what's going on is I got to this observation position in a manner that anything that was close to the water, when they first got sight of me, they would have seen me walking away. Now this is why the white ram was calm and not in a panic mode. He saw me walking away from him and the water. Now that worked out very well. However, my position was relatively exposed, but I was wearing reasonably good camouflage. Better than the white ram anyway. <laughs> uh, but this other bigger ram, he spotted me. But at the distance that he spotted me, um, he was not able to determine just what I was. So I was in his awareness, but not so much that he could identify me. So he stood still, watched me for a while, and of course we'll go over this again and again, reduced his presence and tried to increase his uh, understanding of the environment, his awareness. And he couldn't really get a read on me, just what, that, what I was. Now, apparently because of my posture and my sitting still, he reasoned that I wasn't a predator. So I was either a potential mate and, uh, or another friend. And, and of course, sheep 
together have more of an awareness. The more sheep you have to, together, the more eyes and ears and noses you have in different directions. So a group of sheep is safer than a single animal. So it was worth his time to come and check me out before even going to get water. And this is on a hot summer day. So let's see how things progress and what we can learn from it. Okay, looks like this little ram is thinking about coming in for some water. After all the excitement, he's settled down and he's closing in and he's thinking about it. He's going to be a little cautious about it, but uh, he's thinking about it. He met up with the uh, white ram, but now the white ram has decided uh, he's done with the area. And he's heading out. Uh, probably already had his water, so he doesn't need to come in. We have another ram in the area somewhere. I seen him earlier, but he's behind some hills now. So we'll see if this guy comes in. to the big boys drinker. Yeah, 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 right. Good fake, but uh, you're not impressing me. Looks like that was enough. have here is a ewe and this year's lamb and of course if you look at the top of the scene we can see the big ram coming in with them of course he's not interested in water anymore and this is breeding season of course so now we have three sheep coming into water and one of them has already been there so we know that the big ram He's feeling pretty comfortable here, even though he's aware of me. Here we have a behavior that is very common to many animals and even human beings that know what they're doing. I've seen a video of Bushmen that do this same behavior, and that is where one of them stops and just freezes and the others do the same. And if we look in this video, we'll see that these animals aren't just stopping because they're tired. They're actually looking around very carefully at, at the environment around them to see if there's any predators, anything dangerous going on. Now when they stop and freeze, this changes their presence, it shrinks. They become essentially invisible, or more invisible perhaps is a better way to put it. Harder to see, because the mind's eye can detect motion much better than something that's standing still. And these sheep instinctively understand this 
and utilize this idea of presence and awareness all the time, not only at water sources, but of course a water source being a focus point of all sorts of animals' activity, it's an area that they practice it more often. So we have a beautiful example of this here, and it's something that we can learn from as well. We can see now that these animals are quite comfortable at this water source, although we can also see an elevated level of alertness. You always want to have that at a water source because danger can come in at any time. A water source is a focus point in the desert. Well, we had a pretty good run uh, with these desert bighorn sheep. Seeing this white ram was a special treat. And of course, the lamb and the ewe were, were nice to see at this time of year, to see that the lamb has survived. And of course, we've learned a lot about uh, presence and awareness. And that's something that we can learn from a vast array of wildlife. And this is something that I hope we also learned, is that we learn that we can learn from, from these animals. And that's an important resource uh, for knowledge. Uh, one of the ways you can uh, learn these things, of course, is the use of modern optics. It's a way of observing animals and doing a better job of observation and doing so at a distance where you're not affecting them or having very little effect on them. And that's something that we saw in this uh, lesson is that in some cases the animals were aware of me, in other cases they weren't. And to the degree that they are aware of me and to the degree of which they cared, actually, because the distance was great enough that they didn't have to panic. So there's a lot uh, that we learned, and I hope that this continues um, our knowledge and our continuation in the way of things. With that, I thank you.